What is going on, guys? Wiser here coming to you with the recap of the last four for 2.0. Uh, it was a ranged matchup against Emphatic Elite EE. We've met these guys many, many times in the past. Uh, it was a fantastic war fight to the finish. Let's just hop on over, check out what happened. 86, 85, 2.0 victory. Really, really proud of the guys on this one. Really nice TH10 uh, triples to show you. Really, guys, utilizing. Uh, Utilizing dragons and actually a really sweet Lalo, believe it or not. No miners, no bowlers. So let's look forward to that. Let's just uh, check out, though, emphatically just put up an amazing war overall, too. Really, they uh, had a little bit of trouble with JJ's base. And I think uh, actually JJ and Sean soaked up. Or sorry, Sean, uh, Nina, where are you? Somewhere in there. There he is. Sorry. Uh... They soaked up about 10 attacks, which really, really helped out. And we had some really nice attacks as well. And they obviously cleared it all the way down. Da, da, da. Uh, we cleared the 10s, cleared the 9s. Really good job. It's, like I said, our 10s stepped up at a really great war. So ended up being the uh, the difference here in the end. Let's just jump right in. I'm going to check uh, out uh, some of these replays here for you. Uh, Mouthpiece, our fearless leader. Going in here with this, uh, here with Z-Bear. Z-Bear is making fun of me because I think I call it a Go-Bo-Lalo. Uh, but whatever the hell, uh, <laughs> Z-Bear has really, really been uh, helping our clan mates uh, with this attack. And it, basically, it's a shattered, shattered uh, Lalo with bowlers. And you're going to get huge push into the base, uh, sort of a max attack style, you're using a lot of spells on the kill squad. Idea is you're going to get the bowlers into that core, take out a ton of air defense and a ton of other stuff in the process, and basically leave the rest of the base uh, for two two hounds and, uh, you know, 12, 14 balloons. You're going to make a big impact here. See, see what I mean? These bowlers jumping in. Queen's in behind, the double rage, the heal spell keeping everything up. King's in there, hits that uh, ability finally. Going to bust on through this wall. And look at everything that's down there. There's still two air defense up down here. But other than that, there's not a lot left to this base. And this bowler even steps up, takes care of the sweeper here in one second. Not that it's affecting any of the air attack whatsoever. Just got to get those balloons to all converge on this one air defense and then everything. There's only a couple compartments to go uh, and a bunch of trash. So MP just absolutely smashes it. Um, <laughs> Fearless leader showing us how it's done. Don't know if he's lost any balloons yet at this point. Finally loses a few once that hound goes down. But that air defense goes down, trash goes down, and it's going to be a treat in the bag for MP. Nice job, my friend. Boom. Sexy. Let's move on here. Oh, what was next? Let's check out number 26 here. Leo Liger going in. Same attack. And it's super powerful. And the idea behind it, guys, if you don't know yet, is you just got to figure out uh, the, the normal aspects of a Shattered Lalo, right? You want to take care of the Queen. You want to take care of the Clan Castle. But in the process, you want to be looking for a jump spell that unlocks a lot of air defense for bowlers. So, um, you know, just like we just saw MP jump those bowlers into the core, they didn't get he did, they didn't get quite the amount of air defense I guaranteed that he wanted, but it still turned out to be in his favor. Now, uh, Leo's going to go in here, drop a jump spell right over this uh, clan castle, essentially open up a big chunk of his base, and really. Um, the bowlers have access to pretty much all the air defense. I know these ones are way over here on this side. Um, but you're going to see the kind of push that happens into this base. Queen goes in. Everything's going down. Clan Castle goes down, right? Using those spells on the kill squad, getting big, big value. Second air defense is now down. Starts to deploy a couple balloons in there. It drops that Lava Hound. Everything's going to start moving in. Haste spell is down. I'm going to throw all these balloons right on top of this expo. Does great pathing for the balloons down here in this section. Rage spell down goes down at 9. Going to just blast through that section. All the balloons meet on this last air defense. It goes down, and really there's not much left of this base. A few Teslas, an Archer Tower, and a Wiz Tower on that back end. Uh, but it also has a haste spell plus two more balloons still to go here. Just has to power through this stuff. There goes that haste, couple back end balloons, distract that Tesla, 
boom, down goes the Wistar. Doesn't get the burst on the Lava Hound even on this, and uh, on the second Lava Hound, I should say, and still just smashes it. Nice job, Leo. Three stars. Um, all right, what was I going to show next? So I want to show this stack of mine. Um, I've been talking about this blue velar. I mean, the, the goal, this a stone hobo and uh, this uh, uh, go bo lalo, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, are very, very predominant at nine. I'm really loving this velar, and I find more and more as I talk about it. Not a lot of people, you know, I post sketches and everyone's like, um, okay. So the idea here is I'm looking at air defense. And I knew just kind of walking this queen into this section, I wanted with that army camp there, I was going to push her down, take out that defense queen exactly like everything's going down, lure the clan castle out with the hogs here. Air defense goes down in the process as well. Early poison on the Valks. Just to be safe, I ended up burning the ability here. Uh, I, I didn't really see need. I figured as long as they survived this, this part right here, or she survived, I should say, my queen, uh, then she was going to be good to go because there's no air defense really to touch her uh, healers on the outside. So let's go ahead and I drop some bowlers with three more healers. I brought seven healers to this raid. Valk's in on these breadcrumbs right over here. I know they're going to stand at this wall and go right after this air defense next, as long as these buildings were down over here. Bowlers ended up kind of converging as well and helping things out, and Valk's are now just going to go through this base. So really, I've only used the one Rage on the Queen, so I now have two heals and this Rage I just dropped for the Valk's. They're going to absolutely smash through this stuff. First heal goes down. They do do a split here. You just really want to keep the Valk's healed long enough to get into the sort of last sections of the base. Um, I was also beneficial here because the uh, healers end up locking onto the Valks, which are taking all the damage while the bowlers do the damage, uh, do the funnel or the uh, cleanup work on the outside. End up sending in a couple hogs here. Um, I want to send it on this Tesla, but one goes to the mortar. Doesn't really matter. Queen, I was a little concerned at this point, but uh, she takes down that stuff just in time. Other hog is now in right on that cannon. You don't quite get this stuff down, but uh, everything is just sort of converging. I still have all these Valks at full health because of the healers locking onto them. Uh, really, at this point, the base does not stand a chance, right? And notice I still have so many healers. Like the mines really did not do a thing. Uh, big piece is if you. If you do plan well with this attack and keep your healers alive, there's just so much healing for everything. It doesn't matter. Like by the time everything sort of converges together on the end, it's just ridiculous how how powerful that that attack is. Anyways, uh, I think it is very underused because really all I'm seeing uh, at Town Hall Nine right now is these um, sort of stone entries or even just old school attacks still with bowlers in the cc but um i'm finding you don't even really need hogs they're so fragile just rely on the valks and keep them healed keep them raged and you're good to go um so let's jump into some town hall 10 action we got iceman bringing one of the sexiest attack of the war right here good old-fashioned uh town hall 10 uh I shouldn't say he'll fast. He brings five Valks here. Just an unreal attack. Two baby dragons. Gets that golem in. Starts the funneling work basically from this 9 to uh, uh, 6 o'clock section. <clears throat> He's going to go ahead and take out all these buildings and then drop the Valks in. Set everything right in at this core here. And get pretty big value out of it. Leaving uh, the Lava Hounds and a bunch of balloons for the back end. Oh, excuse me. So just really letting this play out. I like that. The Golem was not taking a lot of point defense. I think only a couple point defense there at once. So it is still at very much a lot of health. Uh, out comes a P.E.K.K.A. and a Baby Dragon of the CC. Poison is going to make short work of that. All the Falks are going to run right in. Take care of the P.E.K.K.A. Take care of the Queen. Um, uh, things another second. The Double Poison. Actually, I believe this in this attack. The Baby Dragon gets away here. He doesn't even die. Because the Queen goes for a little bit of a, a, little bit of a walk here. Around the 9 o'clock. Uh, I know he didn't want that. But see how she ended up... I can't believe she didn't uh, target that lab. But ends up stepping up and being a hero. And taking care of that air defense. That was really the most important thing. You can go ahead and start this first Lava Hound in now. Uh, straight out of the CC. 
balloon's going to converge in, just wants to get everything hasted in right on top of this expo. See this, uh, this baby drag just gets loose. Doesn't matter. I think a pops are a couple pops are going to take care of it here in one second. They don't quite get it there. I know they do a little bit later in the raid here. Raid spell down goes down at the 12 o'clock with a haste. All those balloons are moving very quickly through all those defenses. Even though that baby drags in there trying to do work, the air defense is blasting away. Just too many balloons at this point. Last four balloons go down right around this 3 o'clock with that haste spell. I'm going to push everything into this last section of compartments. Boom. There goes that haste. Down goes the sweeper. Down goes the inferno. His base is G, G at this point, right? Pops all over, brings minions for this far, far back end. Just absolute awesome raid here, Ice. The Ice Man showing us how to not spam attack at Town Hall 10. Ka-blam. Tree in the bag. That was a big one. I think that was the attack of the war. Uh, 13. Tam Jam. <clears throat> so Tam, I think this is her first arranged with 2.0 actually as an official member. So welcome girl and awesome attack here. Brings the double zap quake, bunch of dragons. Let's go ahead. We're going to um, zap this stuff. Get it out of the way. Boom, boom, boom. Down it goes. So see you later air defense. There is now only two air defense remaining. Uh, so really all she wants to do is take care of some buildings, get a funnel created, jump in and take out this air defense. Um, and then she can drop her dragons, I believe, uh, on the opposite side. Sorry, I guess. Uh, so she's going to funnel the dragons in at this air defense and I believe sends in the king and queen down here. So in come the nine dragons. Just like just a good sweep. Um, you don't have to worry about the clan castle. Don't really have to worry about the queen. In fact, you can kind of use the queen as an anchor because you know wherever she she sort of hops out, you're going to get um, the dragons pulled over to that section. Uh, so you can kind of use her to your advantage if you plan it properly. Uh, so these drags now kind of going to the outside. They're just going to work their way around in a clockwise rotation. Still has a couple in here that just get this Inferno Tower. Just perfect job with that. Sends in a drag and a couple loons now at this one. Just going to sort of get, like I said, the two pincer attack. Um, get get some units going clockwise, some units going clockwise. Everything's going to meet up in the middle. That kill squad did their job, took care of that last air defense there. Queen's in there, still full health with the ability as well. That is big news because she's going to start blasting through the rest of this stuff. Got a few drags in the core. She really needs to work through this 9 o'clock section with before this Inferno Tower takes out the dragons. And that's why they're so powerful at Town Hall 10, guys. A max drag, a level 3 Inferno. Watch how, how slowly it kills... Oh, my bad. Watch how slowly it kills these dragons. Like... They just last forever against it. So as long as you can get the pathing out of the way and they don't um, they don't really, really wander a lot while they're in range, they, they're they just going to rip through Inferno Towers. So I believe that is a, a very, very awesome, awesome strat here these days. I mean, everyone's talking about the spam attacks. Well, I mean, I guess nine dragons is... I don't want to call that a spam attack because it's only nine units. It's not 40 miners. Um, but it, you have to take care of a lot of certain sections. You have to know what your pathing is. It's it's very very important to know exactly what your dragons are going to do in these kind of raids. So finally, the Tesla goes down, and that's a tree in the bag for Tammy. Welcome to 2.0, great war girl. That was huge. So twelve, Iceman six pack. Brought a Lalo this last time. He's going to bring dragons this time. So very similar attack. Double zap quake with dragons. Going to get good value out of the kill squad. And then just send the dragons in and, and funnel them properly in at the, the remaining side of the base. And GG, right? Double zap quake is down. Still has a rage in the bag he's going to use here. Dragons go down. Sorry, baby dragons go down, rather. Just getting things going for his kill squad. Sends in the suicide heroes now. Um, if you see just kind of the path in here, right? Uh, sends in the wall breakers, opens things up. Let's that king on in. As long as that queen steps up, she's definitely going to get that air defense out of the way in the clan castle. So there 
goes that stuff. Just got to lock on to the air defense. Down it goes. Hits that ability. Clan Castle is now dead. And send in the drags. And that's all you really need to do. I mean, and you don't even need to worry about the Clan Castle. It's more than just the air defense. Um, so Lava Hound now is in as well. That's a slight difference, I believe. Unless I miss up the last four. Maybe I did. Oh, excuse me. But it's taking the um, taking that air defense there just for just the perfect amount of time. Dragons are in; they're kind of missing that rage, but the the rage was on the air defense. That was the most important thing. Uh, so these dragons are just going to kind of work their way around now, clockwise, all working, uh, doing their stuff. This grounded expo uh, looking pretty for these dragons here. Goes ahead and drops a loon. Um, didn't really end it up doing much. He he just wanted to keep the dragons funneling in and up towards this inferno tower. Just got to work through the core. Baby drag on the outside, doing a little bit of cleanup. Nice job. Still three balloons in the bag here with a minion. I don't want to get that minion going on that builder's hut with the balloon here right in on top of that archer tower. Now the Teslas are locked onto the uh, dragons. But at this point, as you can see, the base doesn't really stand a chance. There's still like four or five drags on the outside. Inferno Tower finally goes down there. Really, there's a Tesla and Archer Tower. That's the only thing that is even possible of a possibility to target these uh, these dragons. Down goes the trash. Tree stars in the bag for the Iceman. Nice job, buddy. Six packing it up for us. That was huge. Great war. Um, one more. 11, 12, 13, 14. Beautiful. Zerzi, again, dragons, 10 dragons this time though, double Zafquake. Similar idea here, I like this guy's um, thought process of bringing this, so you can't just wall break into the Inferno Tower, but really it doesn't matter. Uh, Zerzi's going to go ahead and drop his Suicide King there, immediately do some tanking, drop a couple Wizards, takes care of some of that trash, opens up the wall, going to walk right into this compartment, take care of it immediately. Down goes air defense number one. Double zap quake is going to take care of two and three. And there's only going to be one more to go. Goes ahead and drops a couple archers on those trash buildings in the corner. You always got to be mindful, guys, of these builder's huts or the army camps. Whatever is in the corner, please just be mindful of that in your planning. But you see the kill squad still going, right? Queen finally hits that ability. He's going to get a couple Teslas and an arch tower here out of the deal. <clears throat> Finally, Pitter's out. Doesn't quite get that Tesla, I forgot. Uh, Bomb comes up, takes care of a couple of the dragons, but see what I mean? The, the Inferno Towers do not do anything, really. They take so long to kill drags, so as long as, uh, as, long as there's not a high hit point uh, stuff that they're going to be stuck on for a very extended amount of time, as long as those Expos are grounded, those are a big piece of this raid as well. When you have grounded Expos, you're leaving yourself open to these dragon attacks. Because um, even with the Expos up, it is very difficult to defend it. But Zerz is just ripping through this base, getting good value on those balloons, dropping them very slowly, helping the dragons out, just taking out these point defenses one at a time. And then give us a bit of a fast forward. These drags are nice and slow, but as you can see, everything's going to start converging on this final Inferno Tower because it's going to take so long to kill it. Boom, going to balloon drop off on that. A couple more puffs from that dragon's breath, and it is done for. Just got to clean up the base now. It's really the wizard tower is obviously not going to kill three dragons. There's no chance in hell. And that, my friends, is a treat start in the bag for Zerds. Beautiful. Bam. So very, very good war. Insane good effort at all uh, all town hall levels coming from our side. Uh, you know, we're really put together a good effort here. Uh, hats off to the war generals here. They uh, a lot of good communication, a lot of adjustments on the fly to targets and whatnot. So uh, Fatak Elite, thank you very much uh, for the wonderful war. Always a pleasure, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a night here. It's getting pretty late. And uh, yeah, so that'll do it for Wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then. I'm out.